word of power, hallelujah. God's word is a word of power. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. God, we just thank you right now. We come to you right now, Lord, and give you praise and glory. God, we thank you for this wonderful, beautiful day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Folks, today is a day of salvation. Today, today, I'm going to speak to you about being reborn. You have to be born again. To be born again, the Lord said to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, you must be born again. In other words, we may, must be transformed. Christ must transform us to everlasting life. Right now, folks, everlasting life. You need an everlasting life today. God says that he gave you his word and you rejected it. He said, I gave you my son and you rejected him. God gave you the word and the word is being rejected and made fun of. And today, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, God will not be mocked. God's word is being mocked every day. The word of God is being made fun of on a daily basis. And that needs to come to a stop. We need to come to a stop on that. Folks, in the end time, the Lord says, you will stand before him and you will give an account for your life. You're going to stand before God. And so many people are going to have an excuse. They're going to say, God, did I not uh, cast out demons in your name? Did I not do all these great things in your name? And Jesus is going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. Well, that's the sound I don't want you to hear. You don't ever want to hear those words come from, from God himself, folks. You cannot resist the word of God. If you resist the word of God and you turn away from the word of God, there's going to be a price to pay for that. A rejection of Jesus Christ. There's a price to pay for rejecting the word of God. God came. God came 2,000 years ago and, and Jesus walked the face of the earth and he went about the earth preaching and freeing people. Miracles were made. Were, were, Jesus performed miracle after miracle. And he wants you to know today can be your day. Today, as I said, is the day of salvation. Today is your day. Today can be the most important day that you could ever experience is to give your life and your heart and your soul to Jesus Christ. Today I want to speak to you. I want to, to, to be an encourager today. I want to encourage you. Okay, you need to be encouraged. I want to build you up. I don't want to, I'm not here to tear you down, but to build you up. To give you a sound, a sound doctrine, a sound word from the Lord. And that word is, folks, you, time is running out. I'm telling you, time is running out. God is getting ready to come back. God's returning. God's coming back. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. I come today. Today, today, today. It's an important day. This beautiful day, your life can change. Your ways can change. But there has to be a change in you. You're going to have to forsake some of the places you used to walk into. You're going to have to forsake some of the language you've been using. To follow Jesus Christ, there must be a turn, a turn around. And you must turn from your sin. Turn from your sin. Let Jesus Christ revive you today. So many people today are walking around 
dead in their sin and you need to be alive in Jesus Christ. You're dead in your sin. Be alive. There's a reason to give God praise and glory because He came and He died on a cross. He gave up His life on the cross for you. For you. Because He loved you so much, He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. He God said to go and encourage them today. Give them a word of encouragement. They're walking around. My people are dying for the lack of knowledge. Folks, you need knowledge of Jesus Christ. You need to know who Jesus is.